Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you weekly reading vlog number 162, which is a week of reading just thrillers. <laughs> So I picked this prompt out of Larry the TBR Llama in my TBR video and it wasn't a very complicated one, it was just thrillers, only thrillers um, and the one I picked out during that video to read was Those Who Lie by Diane Jeffrey. This is probably the thriller I am least excited for on my entire TBR so I just thought let's go with it, let's smash it. It is only 279, no sorry, 281 pages long. Um, so I'm going to actually pick this one up tonight and get through it hopefully in Patreon reading sprints. I do normally do three 45 minute sprints. If it's as quick to read as I'm hoping, I think I might smash this tonight, get it off the TBR. And then I've made some, I think pretty good choices in terms of the other thrillers I want to get read this week. First of all, I have the oldest thriller on my TBR and that is 13 Minutes by Sarah Pinbra. This is a YA thriller. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you what the first one was about. I told you in my TBR video actually, so go check that out. But I'll tell you about these ones. So this one is, I don't remember how I ended up in the icy water, but I do know this, it wasn't an accident. They say you should keep your friends close and your enemies closer, but sometimes it's hard to tell them apart. My friends love me, I know they do, but that doesn't mean they didn't try to kill me. So I have had this on my TBR for, I kid you not, six years? Gonna get it read. I then have what I think might be the second oldest, but it also finishes one of the oldest series on my TBR. So that is If You Dare by A.R. Tor. This is the third book in the Girl and 6E series. I believe it's the third and final book. I've not heard the best things about this, but I love the Girl and 6E. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I love this. I can't read the back because it's a series, but the Girl in 6E is about a woman who is a cam girl, and she's doing that because she needs a way to sustain her um, living without leaving her apartment. She believes if she leaves apartment 6E, she is basically gonna go on a murder rampage. So this is book three. Excited to see where this one goes. I've had it so long. And then I've picked one of the shortest thrillers on my TBR, and that is Leave the World Behind by Rumen Alam. And it comes in at 241 pages. So hopefully I can smash this. Uh, this says, Amanda and Clay are enjoying a taste of the good life when Ruth and GH, an older couple who claim to own the remote holiday home they're staying in, arrive seeking shelter. These strangers say that a power outage has swept the city, but with no phone service and the internet down, the facts are unknowable. What has happened back in New York? Is the holiday home a truly safe place for their families? And are they safe from one another? So I should have explained I look like this because I went to the gym. I don't like, right, so I need to finish work, have a shower, edit a video, yeah, edit a video, then do reading sprints and hopefully smash this one. We will see, but that is the plan for this week. Oh, also, if by some miracle I read all these books, because um, I am trying to complete my reading goal for the year, I have 35 books now I need to read by the end of December. If I do, finish these four I will kind of go at thrillers randomly but I will show you that if it happens. Hello I have just got home on the 7th of November so you know what that means. You know what that means right? <laughs> I was gonna read this as soon as it arrived and now reading plans have changed, um, TBRs have changed, challenges have been added so I don't think I'm gonna get time. She's the thick. She is thick. Oh my god, she's chunky. Oh, my copy's damaged, so I'll be sending it back. Um, but we have Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Ah! But yeah, that's not good enough. Well, the excitement died pretty quickly, but I have I'm holding this for one second. It will be it will be leaving my possession. But we have it. How exciting. Hello, it is Wednesday at eight o'clock at night, and it's focusing on Sully, not me. Um, I'm freezing cold, so I'm about to get in bed <laughs> and read. I've been making myself like a burrow in bed and just sitting with a book and reading the entire time because I'm so cold. So I don't know how the temperature dropped this much, but it hurts. Anyway, I have two books I've finished, one book I've started and a book I have hauled hello so i was actually on patreon sprints when the haul arrived so it's why i've done it a bit later on in the vlog um i got the pumpkin spice cafe by laurie gilmore and this was a gift from the lovely victoria 
So this is a thank you gift for helping with her 48 hour readathon. I really didn't do a lot. She is so sweet. Um, and I just appreciate her so much. But I've heard mixed things about this now. A lot of people saying it's an easy, cute read. Laura hated this, so we'll see. It says, when Jeannie's aunt, Jeannie? Yeah, Jeannie's aunt gifts her the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor. She jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Logan is a local farmer who avoids Dream Harbor's gossip at all costs, but Jeannie's arrival disrupts Logan's routine and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl, except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her. Will Jeannie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan? Or has this city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to read this soon if I want to get it in the seasonal hit. We'll see if I can squeeze it in. I then finished two books. The first one was what I listened to via audio and is not a thriller. Um, that is A Fur Love Story by Lone Lee. So I was listening to this before the week started, so it doesn't count as reading only thrillers. Like, it, it just, it just kind of happened, okay? And unfortunately, I didn't love this one. I gave it three stars. It's a perfectly acceptable book, um, but it just didn't knock my socks off. So we're following Lynn and Bao. I think I explained this, or maybe it was last week. Their families have rival restaurants, um, but they fall into a little bit of a crush situation. It says they can only steal kisses in dark alleyways and the art room for so long. Can their love transcend an age-old feud and heal the rift between these two families? Um, yeah, it just didn't completely knock my socks off. I wouldn't not recommend it, but I didn't love this one. I didn't love it. And then a book I really didn't like. I gave two stars to Those Who Lie by Diane Jeffrey. Um, this was pretty poor, I won't lie. This is a woman who wakes up in the hospital to find out that her husband has died in a car accident and she was driving. The entire story is what happened with why did she crash the car and what happened to her father when she was younger. There are many, many mysteries in this, all of which get solved in about three pages. And I think that's what really puts you off is I actually think the what happened in the car is so brushed over that it didn't make any sort of impact whatsoever. Really wasn't a fan of the writing in this, would not recommend it. And yeah, it's happened, I can move on. And what I'm now reading and way more excited about is If You Dare by A.R. Tor. This is book three in the Deanna Madden series that starts with the girl in 6E. I was reading in the bath and I'm on page 73. So I'm gonna get in bed in some sort of duvet cocoon burrow and try and get more of this read tonight. It is only, it looks quite big, but it's just under 350 pages long, which isn't too crazy. So we'll see. In a way, I was really hoping not to like this because this is a bigger copy than my paperbacks. Well, I mean, it is still a paperback. The first two I have a normal paperback size and you can see how different that actually is, um, especially in width as well. So I'm gonna need to find myself a regular paperback of this if I enjoy it. This is just, I don't know why. A normal paperback are like 15 pound, I don't understand. Um, I'm waffling, I'm gonna go read this. <laughs> Hello, it is now Thursday. I'm set up to work for the day and we have our VAT inspection. So I'm not enjoying the day already. But what I can tell you is I finished a book this morning, which is If You Dare by A.R. Tor. I started this last night and I have genuinely read the entire thing. It's like 360 pages. Okay, not quite. 350 pages and I stormed the whole thing. So this is book three in the Deanna Madden series. I'm not sure how much I've already said, um, but this one is a little bit flat compared to the others. I gave it three and a half stars. So definitely better than fine, but we're just following Deanna. Um, how much do I say without making spoilers? Something has happened but she doesn't remember it. But is she guilty? That's kind of the premise. You see really early on what's probably happening and it does turn out to be the obvious thing. I wasn't too in love with the storyline, but I just like seeing the character more and seeing her like grow more. Um, so I did overall enjoy it, but it's definitely the weakest story out of the three. Um, I remember I did mention this. 
I've got a large US paperback. If anyone out there has a standard UK size paperback, please get in touch. We can swap. I'm, <laughs> I really, really want the UK paperback and I can't find it anywhere. So constantly on the hunt for that um, because I don't want this big copy. I want them all to match, but who knows? Maybe I'll just have to buy US paperbacks for the other two. I'm really waffling now, but three and a half stars. So although it is well, I guess it's Thursday morning. So in three days, I have read two entire thrillers for the Thriller Week vlog. I'm now going to put a poll up on my Discord, I think, for the patrons to choose my next book. So the other two I want to read is Leave the World Behind and 13 Minutes. Ah, oh, not is. Why did I say is? I think this one's going to be easier to read, but it's longer. This one's going to be harder, but it's shorter. I will see what they vote for and I will pick that one up after work today. Um, and then hopefully if I do a whole book tonight and a whole book tomorrow, I only have plans to go out drinking on Saturday, which doesn't start till the afternoon. So maybe I could read another book. Like I'm so on it. So my reading goal is now 169 books completed, which is only one behind schedule. And I've been at least five behind schedule for months. So to be one behind schedule, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So proud of myself. Um, but yeah, time to get through that inspection interview first guys attempt number two so attempt number one is still here and needs to be returned um do you have to do it via every or royal mail even though the amazon driver has had to come here to give me attempt two that one i don't understand like you are going back to amazon just take it with you i don't anyway we're looking promising from the top please please don't be damaged oh this is weird so it looks perfect, but it's been folded wrong. Like, so the side of the, the inside cover has come round to the front. So I might need to like re-bend it or just leave it because I don't want to make it worse. I don't know how these get so like damaged though. I've seen so many people unbox them and they're just like this. Again, I'm not happy. I understand it's been packaged, but like you can see how little care has been taken and it really bothers me. And this is why I said I was gonna stop buying books from Amazon, but like, it's fine. Um, still, we get to be excited. This is better. Um, we've got, God, it's printed really wonky, but we have a picture, a picture of uh, Zayden. So, you know, that's what we want, right? Oh, I don't know. Why am I mad? Am I allowed to be mad? Why can't they just be good? Cause books aren't cheap. I'm gonna have a go at refolding this. I've refolded it, it's a little bit better. It's now just on the side, not on the front. Um, and it doesn't look like I've damaged it too much. Um, am I being ridiculous or are other people experiencing weird issues with this book? Like, I don't know, Why? I just want things to be right. Maybe I am a control freak. Anyway, we have Iron Flame, which is really hyped and everyone's excited about. I I've got it. Hello, I went to the gym on lunch and there was a B and m outside the gym. I am sweaty. Um, I actually finished off a Christmas present, so love in life. Two Christmas presents, actually. Um, but I got a bowl of noodles and I feel like I just have to update you when I get noodles now. So we have the bowl noodle spicy chicken and I'll tell you if it's spicy. Okay, are they spicy is the question. I'm gonna try and eat these with chopsticks on a camera. Oh, they're hot. Could be spicier. Nothing on ball deck. Hello. I'm in my pyjamas, there is a blanket round me. It is Friday night. This is the um, very fun young adult look at a Friday night um, where I'm just gonna sit and watch YouTube and watch movies and chill. Tonight is the plan. Um, Cole has the day off work because of Veterans Day, which is kind of nice because we managed to just sit on the phone for a couple hours while like I had dinner and he had lunch and whatever, just stuff that we haven't been able to do in a while um because of like different jobs and times and whatever um so that's what i've been doing since i finished work um had a shower and i'm gonna get in bed i think and just chill but before i do i wanted to show you what i've decided to do in terms of advent calendars this year because they have been blowing up i also just ate some really spicy noodles they've been blowing up on my tiktok um so i want to show what i'm gonna do because if you're not aware I fly to the US on the 16th. So there was no point in me getting a 24 day advent calendar. So I've got 12 days and then um, I'll be so excited about seeing Cole that the other four won't matter. So I was on Etsy and I was looking at hot chocolate advent calendars and stationery. So I have ended up with both, but not both not technically advent calendars and not both from Etsy. So the Etsy advent calendar, 
is this one. I don't know if that's going to focus, but this is the Brimbles advent calendar. If you could just focus on that, that'd be great. So this says, this is the ninth year that the Brimbles elves have been putting these boxes together now. And we really hope you enjoy opening it as much as we enjoy making them. Some days may be teeny tiny, but other days will be bigger. We like to have fun and keep you on your twinkle toes, that's for sure. Remember to only open one a day though. We elves are watching and we'll report back to Santa if you have been naughty and peaked early. Please share your surprises on social media. Wishing you a festive season with lots of giggles. Brimbles, Chief Alf. So there is actually, this was how it came in the box. And there is that says no peeking until the 1st of December. So I did want to open this and just see if like it's wrapped or whatever. But like, I, I can't. I think they are individually packaged inside of here. Um, but I can't quite see. So this is what I will be starting in terms of a tech cool advent calendar i know it's not like little boxes or whatever but that is an advent calendar so the other one i looked at on etsy was a hot chocolate one and i decided um i can't remember who said this it might have been adrienne that like you can get a 12 pack selection box of hot chocolates around christmas so that is exactly what i went to get from b m today it was five pounds and there are 12 different hot chocolates in here so i can have a hot chocolate a day Seems excessive, but it's December. Um, there's some really fun ones in here. Banoffee pie. Oh wait, this box literally just has marshmallows in. So that's not quite 12, is it? Okay, so it's 11 days of hot chocolate. S'mores, cookies and cream, winter berries, bit of everything, carrot cake. Um, so I'll be having one of these for 11 days in December. It gives me a day off if I'm hot chocolate, hot chocolated out. Um, but I just thought this was pretty cool. I can, I can pick a day at random. Um, but that is my, not that anyone cared, but these are my choices for Advent this year. This was a completely pointless update because I haven't read anything, so I have no books to tell you about. I will try and read something before the next time I update you. <laughs> Hello, we are back in this vlogging position again. This seems to be pretty much it. Um, I did not film yesterday. I, uh, today is Sunday, I should say, Saturday. I went out pretty early doors, uh, about 11 o'clock, and spontaneously, actually, I've not sorted the hair out on this side, got my conch pierced on this side, which I wanted to do for a while. Um, my sister was getting tattoos and I was like, I'm kind of jealous, so I want to go do something. Um, so I got my conch pierced on this side. It's a little bit sore. We're now up to nine ear piercings. So, you know, I feel like I'm really rocking this. <laughs> And then I finished off some Christmas shopping. I now have one present left to buy and I know what I'm gonna get and I know I can get it next weekend, so I'm not worried. And then Christmas is done. I then went out for drinks and I was home about seven o'clock after walking a solid mile with no shoes on, which, you know, is always good. We're looking a little bit greasy this morning, so yay. Um, but I realized that everyone everyone in quotation marks is at Yauk this weekend so there weren't any reading sprints and I've wanted to do them starting on us like a Sunday morning for a while now so I'm gonna go live from 10 a.m as long as I can go I don't know how long I'll be here but I'm gonna just try and keep going and see what I can get done I'm currently reading 13 minutes I thought I was gonna smash this but I'm on page 84 and I do not care about this story at all part of me is saying DNF but I've had it for such a long time. I feel like maybe I should see how much I can read in one sprint. Just give up another 45 minutes to it. See how much I can read. I don't really care about it. And then we will see if I can get Leave the World Behind read as well. I'm hoping to be live pretty much all day. But yeah, we'll see what I can do. Um, saying that, I need to be live in five minutes. So I better stop vlogging and actually get ready. <laughs> Hello, it is about 20 past two on Saturday and I've just finished 13 minutes. So I have been live streaming since 10 o'clock this morning and I've finally got through 13 minutes. It took me three sprints and a little bit and um, two and a half stars. This was very disappointing. I was fluctuating between ratings the whole time. So I was gonna DNF it this morning, but I was like, I'll give it one, one sprint. I managed to get up to page 150 within one sprint. So I was like, okay, keep going. Um, and then some of the content was like, this is four star worthy content, but because of how slow the start is, I'm not going to go above a three. And then how does a 400 page YA thriller not have a satisfying ending? So I dropped down to two and a half because if you're going to make a thriller that long, where we find out everything by page 300, how could you not wrap it up nicely in 100 pages? 
was not a fan so i'm going to try and read uh, leave the world behind now on the last couple of sprints i'm going to go until i order chinese food i think is the plan so this sprint will take us to about three i reckon we'll have another two sprints after this one but yeah um it's going pretty well i hope people are enjoying it and i'm liking doing public sprints again okay so i need to clean my kitchen so we're not doing this in too much detail but if you guys remember i had a really bad chinese and that was the last time i've had one but i've decided to give this place another go we have five fortune cookies i've already had one of the chips they are the best they've been in so long oh my god this is so much food i don't i think i underestimate one of these things is a starter but it's a full plate barbecue sauce uh Szechuan beef rice and ch oh my god six um, and then like a salt and chili chicken but that was supposed to be small i have a feast I'll, I'll plate it up i think the normal chef was off sick that week because this goodness was not made by the same person like it doesn't look that fit but trust me this is good chinese food hello it is monday morning i am like so cold and tired and like not with it this morning um but we need to wrap up the vlog i need to introduce next week's vlog all the youtube excitement getting me through the morning so i actually had a really slow end of the day last uh, yesterday i think starting the sprints at 10 meant that when it got to four i was like yeah i'm checked out for the day so i ordered a chinese as you saw um i watched a bit of youtube i listened to cold game and then scrolled through tiktok and then it was midnight so really really slow day um i did carry on with leave the world behind but i got to page 113 and i do not care about this book i really don't for now i'm gonna soft dnf it because it's only short <laughs> i can finish it um i did find the audiobook on libby and i've managed to get a libby account but it won't verify my card and every time i try and log in it won't work um so i've got a temporary library card number i think i need to wait for a proper one but yeah so just seeing if that arrives at any point this week and then i'll pick this back up but for now i'll put it on my tbr shelf like my actual little tbr shelf and see if i want to finish it at any point but don't have high hopes i don't really want to think about it for a while um so yeah that is that one kind of checked off but this was a week about reading thrillers and overall i didn't really have much success because the first one i read was those who lie by diane jeffrey and did i give this two stars in the end because this just was not entertaining really in the slightest i then read if you dare by a r tor which i gave three and a half stars so definitely the best of the week but nothing special and then i read 13 minutes by sarah pimbra which i gave two and a half stars so i didn't really like that and then I've almost DNF'd this one. So overall, this was a really crappy week for thrillers. I've definitely gone here for older ones. Like one that I had, I knew that was short. The oldest one on my TBR, the oldest series to finish on my TBR. And then just another short and old book. So I definitely went more for clearing my TBR rather than reading things I was excited about. And I, know, I can tell that from this vlog. But they were all thrillers. They fit the prompt. And yeah, I have more exciting things happening next week, I promise. So as it's a thrillers vlog, if you got to the end of this video, then please leave me the little knife stabby emoji, maybe some blood, I don't know, something aggressive. Not too aggressive because YouTube might block the comment, but like slightly aggressive, mildly aggressive. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, weekly vlogs are continuing and it's getting to the point soon where my vlogs won't be going up before christmas which is like mind-blowing to me so i only have five weeks left in the uk before christmas um and four of those weeks weekly reading vlogs will be going up the last one you will see this year is number 166 um after that they will be shown after christmas and you'll have back-to-back -back vlogs for weeks <laughs> while i catch up um but yeah it's kind of not stressing me out it's just different like i know that i'm actively taking a break and it will be noticeable i think saying that this is the week i've got to start getting my extra content sorted i need to pre-film about 12 videos and pre-edit 12 videos as well as still managing three videos a week while i'm still here it's never stressed because it's youtube but all of the slight pressure to get this done on time is uh it's starting to have an impact so we will see how it goes but for now thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one bye